Even what you said about Cameron, attentiveness, loving gaze, just be. Because what's heaven going to be? That. Being. Communion. Mm. And if we're, if we're just like, you know, what else is on? You so know, that, it's that, not going to work. Uh, it doesn't bring peace. So I was, I've said this before, you know, like the metaverse, whatever the hell it is Facebook's doing or Meta's doing. Did you see that commercial? They, they yeah, made for that? it was so strange. Awful. The jungle thing, bizarre. The whole thing was weird. Yeah. But, okay, so how long do you think, Neil, do we have until people are in virtual goggles? All Since Neil's younger than us, I feel like he's got his finger on the pulse more. Well, people already do that. I mean, there's VR chat. People yeah. have communities in VR chat where they're all in their VR things. Because right now, we almost live more in our phone. Yep. Oh, I think it was um, absolutely. Musk, Elon Musk, who said, we are already cyborgs. It's just this thing isn't implanted right, in us. Right, it's removable like, right now. Right, and the watch is one step. I don't know why you would tether yourself so to the sorry, internet like that. Take that off so immediately. Sorry, yeah. It's just to check my... But, um, so he's just like, we're kind of like cyborgs now, you know? We're so reliant true. on this thing. And how many times do you glance at your phone a day, get news? Over 80 times a day, statistically. Sub Teenagers at least. Subvert, subvert interesting conversations. Right. Like, who won the last Olympics? Oh, let me look it up. No, how about don't? And we'll just yeah. chat about yeah, it. Right, and this right. is part of the fun. You Sit know? in the ache, right? So, okay. So we live in our phones a lot of the time. I, like how long until it's wrapped around our face and we live there more than we do in reality? Oh, yeah. How no. long do you think that will be? Oh my gosh, within the next decade, I'm sure. Less probably. All right, so here's the next question. People will be in the metaverse, right? Just like we're all watching YouTube on videos and phones right now, okay? And then what happened, right, is Catholics moved from like youth ministry for maybe a number of reasons and other kinds of ministry to like online <laughs> ministry, right? That's what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So how long is it until people are missionaries in the metaverse? Oh and wouldn't that be gross? Doesn't that just seem wrong? It does. Like that's their full-time job? People pay them? Weird. Totally inhuman. But that's it just, not, that's does, not, it seems wrong. It seems like, it no, don't, don't do that. It's as heretical as Manichaeism but, in the early church. This, this body-soul duality. So where's the divide a, between what I'm doing and what you're doing at Theology of the Body on your YouTube channel. So I want to know where... Right. Because I look at the metaverse and being a missionary in the metaverse and think that seems gross. I haven't thought it through and maybe I'm wrong in thinking it's gross. But it seems wrong it's and you shouldn't do it. It's still a medium. Newspapers are, you know, as old as whatever. <laughs> and it's, it's, a, it's information that's being transported into your hand and you leave through it. We're still doing that. You know, we're offering... Um, a more embodied look, so to speak, through our courses online for people who can't do it. But we're always saying, but if you can come in person, come bodily for this retreat, this course, this immersion. Um, so, so I think as long as the medium remains, mm -hmm. like this information that could lead to formation. I mean, even... No, but the thing is, though, if, if the vast majority of Americans are in the metaverse more than they are in the real world, wouldn't that then justify Christians to be in the metaverse more than they are in the real world in order to reach those? Now, that seems wrong, even though I can't express why it is. And that leads me to question other forms of social media. Like, I'm embarrassed that I'm on TikTok and I hope I get banned soon. <laughs> <laughs> could you make that happen, Neil? Um, <laughs> no, don't ask me to do that. That could get ugly. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, well, okay. So and then, 19... okay, so if TikTok is wrong, which I think it is, like someone said to me yesterday, like my son's addicted to TikTok, but hey, if that's the worst thing he does, I'm like, no, that is the worst thing he could do. Yes. And then I think, all right, but then like one step down seems to be like Twitter. That seems just wrong. Why no. am I on Twitter? But it, then I think, okay, yeah. but like Facebook? YouTube, like, should I cancel all of it? Or is there some that is objectively better platforms than other platforms? And what is that? Sure what is there, it that sure makes it are. better? I wouldn't be able to diagnose and break that I down think, right now. But yeah, you go. I think YouTube's a better platform just because it's longer form. You're sitting, you have to watch yes. one thing for a longer amount of time. Uh, I mean, absolutely. You, even it's like they're all just technologies. Books are technologies. Sitting with a, and reading with a book, you right. could say, "Oh, that's not natural." You should go go out and see the see the real world. Put that book down and, and interact with the reality. Right. It's like okay, well, it's all just kind of degrees. So I think your your reaction to the metaverse, I think that along like you would just say the metaverse is gross in the first place. So that might be where a lot of the grossness of evangelization comes from, from, from like from that. Where the, I would just say that that's probably not where you would want to evangelize then. That but you be think like it's your, okay that others would. I'm, yeah, well, yeah. there's... If they feel so I called. think it's, all, it's another thing, too. It's like when you see people evangelizing on, like, TikTok, it's just the format doesn't fit. It's not, like, well-suited to kind of deep People thinking. aren't there to think things yeah, through. Yeah, people aren't there to think things through. So they try to, like, reformat, yeah. and you're like, this is just, like, like not good. You're, it's not good evangelization because you can't mm. really do that on that platform. So 
I don't the mean, it means hmm, to an end, means to an end, means to an end. What's the end? Communion. Communion, right? We're, we're having communion. The people who are watching this conversation right now are seeing us communicate and entering into some of that, but it might inspire them to enter into a deeper communion and conversation. And it, I, to, to yeah. Neil's point, I love the fact, and Jordan Peterson's talked about this as well, it's no longer this contrived, we got four minutes and cut, you know. No, that's right. We can just... That's that's and a really are. that's a really this good is point. More human. Like the same moment in which people are blowing their brains out on TikTok, they're also sitting around for three hour conversations. Right, which is more human. So there's a scale. Yeah, so there's that. And there's prior to YouTube, you couldn't do that. You couldn't have a three right. hour conversation that you could digest. Like you can't do that on vinyl <laughs> or CD. True, but you could on a series of CDs. And you know, people always throw in like Saint Paul. You know, he used the, the the roads of Rome to evangelize, and the internet is like the new the new Ro Roman roads. <laughs> so, yeah, but so it's unique. And you know, do you feel so called? I mean, but maybe you're wrong to feel so called. Like I don't. Well, maybe I don't think Saint Paul would have been on Twitter. I don't know if he would have or not. But I hope I he wouldn't either. have. I would have lost respect for him. <laughs> can I say that? <laughs> yes. Like, I don't think Jesus Christ would have been on Twitter. But maybe he would. What do I know? I don't know. Just I think John, thoughts out. I think John Paul II, 1995, wrote a thing on the internet. So internet was kind of just coming out, kind of new, fresh. And he talked about, you know, just the fact that the name of Christ can appear on billions of computers and monitors throughout the world. Yeah. But, you know, but are we engaging with him really? Like, this could be helpful. But it's not the end. Yeah, I, I jumped off social media three years ago. January 1st, 2020, I jumped off Facebook, jumped off all the other stuff. I pop in for news, news apps. I pop in on YouTube, your channel sometimes. I try to be better. But I am Please so don't. glad to be off. No, I am so So when you glad. say you jumped off social media, I was on, I you, was on you Facebook. You canceled your like, accounts? Or? Face, Twitter's canceled. I'm done with that. Facebook, I just haven't touched in three years. I think it's still out there. But, um, and I used to evangelize through it a lot for years since like 2006 or 7 I think I was on uh, you know on Instagram and all that but certain events unfolded in the family and I was just it's time it's time to just stop I just felt called to it not everybody feels it but I felt called to just step off and it's been great I have no idea how I had so much time to, to put things on that were true and good and beautiful but Again, the thing is they're like, not, can they're we not just, designed to have the headspace to uh, uh, but receive not, what you're but putting But again, out like there. being an embodied person with senses, the outliers, this is how the world comes to me, to live in the 20 feet around me, to be attentive to the weather of the day, the smell and touch and feel, instead of like I'm walking through all of it like this, you know, bumping into stuff, I just, I prefer it now. I just want to kind of stay in the 20 feet around me and obviously pray and think of others and reach out, but it's being present. It's back to the real presence. So here's the question I want to get to. So it doesn't sound like you're necessarily in agreement with my suspicion that it would be wrong for Christians to flock into yes, the metaverse. Yes, I think it could be a call for some. Call like for the some, mission yeah. call from the beginning, you know, some. But my fear is that way too many people will think they're being called there for the same reason I might think I'm being called here, and namely YouTube pays me. This is nice. I get, I get money from doing this. It's a subjective call. You got to pray through it, honestly. You know, it's the whole thing of, you know, whatever. Um, Rwanda needs missionaries or Chile needs whatever. You need missionaries. So I should just go. Well, you can't bulldoze your way into a vocation. It's a I call. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't force it. Yeah, so just because some people uh, may be yeah. not called but think Very they unique. are isn't an argument against those who are called and are doing the thing. Right. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.